Hi all, in this video we are going to learn about feature scaling. What is feature scaling? Feature scaling is a method used to normalize the range of independent variables. Why is feature scaling important? I will show you with an example. Suppose x is equal to 20. This is in kgs, kilograms. y is equal to 5. But this is in ton. A human brain can understand that a ton is equal to 100 kilograms. But a machine won't understand. It will only take numbers. Now if we write x greater than y, it will print a true. But in reality, is it true? No, it's not true. Hence, we have to convert everything into one unit. That is scaling, converting all your variables into one unit. So here, when we multiply this by 100, we get 500 kilos. Now, if you check the condition, x is greater than y, we get a false. This is the way scaling happens. So basically, scaling is a process of converting all our variable into one unit. If you see our data set, we see that normalized losses is measured in some currency, width is measured in inches, height is measured in inches, engine size is measured in some units, horsepower is measured in horsepower, city mileage per Yes, is measured in miles, highway mileage is measured in miles, price is measured in currency. All our variables are measured in different different units. Hence, it is important for us to convert everything into one standard unit. There are two ways to convert everything into a standard unit. One is the min-max scalar. How, what is the formula of min-max? It's very simple. So basically, your, you have your x, x minus minimum of all the x divided by max of x minus min of x. So basically, this is the formula for min-max. So you now, if you have a data set, I will show you how this actually works. We have A is equals to NP dot array. Let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. B is equals to NP dot array. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. In this, if you observe, these are just multiplied by 10. Let's see how our min max scalar works. Let's make a function def min max arr. This is an array. Let's say x nu equals arr minus arr dot min divided by arr dot max min minus arr dot min now return x new Now, let's say min max of A. We get 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and 1. How does this numbers occur? So, the first value is nothing but 1 minus minimum of this array is 1 divided by 5 minus 1. I'll show you in writing. So basically the 0 you get by 1 minus 1 divided by 5 minus 1. 
So this is your first value. Similarly, you have your second value. 2 minus 1 upon 5 minus 1. Just replace it by 2. You get the second value. 0 0.25. Third value is nothing but 3. You replace 3 minus 1 upon 5 minus 1. 0 0.5. And when you replace this by 4, you get 4 minus 1 upon 5 minus 1. When you replace this by 5, you get 1. This is the way our min-max function works. Now let's see it in the code. So from sklearn dot preprocessing, we have to import the min max scalar. Import min max scalar. Be very careful. Python is highly case sensitive. Minimum and maximum should start with an M capital and S scalar. S of scalar is also capital. We'll make a new variable mx min max scalar. Okay, now let's apply our min max scalar onto our columns. So now take a look at all the columns. Now, when we apply, all these numbers are going to get changed. So, let's apply for, let's use a for loop to apply the min-max scalar on all our columns. For call in df, mx is equal to min-max scalar. df. So basically, how we do it, we do mx dot fit underscore transform. What do we have to transform? We have to transform all the columns. df call. And since a fit underscore transform takes two arguments, we have to put two brackets over here. Otherwise, we'll get an error. Now, these changes are not permanent. And we do not have the concept called in place equals true. Now, how do we make these changes permanent? We just make it permanent by calling our column equal to the mx.fit underscore transform. Let's run this. There is no error. Now, let's look at the df. Everything is in terms of 0 or it lies between 0 and 1. This is our min-max scalar. I hope everyone has understood how min-max scalar works. Thank you.